What is up, producers? Welcome to Low and Candy. I am Bohemith, and today this is going to be a quick little tip about how to leave notes on your session and MIDI notes and notepad. So, quick little tip. Some of you may know this, some of you may not, but it's very helpful. It's a lot easier than using warp markers, which is a can be a nightmare, and it's it's just kind of unnecessary. So over here in an Ableton track, if we can create a MIDI track and create a MIDI clip, we can actually use this to create notes. So we'll say like intro needs more elements. And then drop, add bass, and change the color. Especially if we're sharing projects with someone, this actually helps a lot. Uh, I've seen people try to do this with, with uh, locators and it really just gets really messy. So very quick and easy tip. It's just something that um, I've picked up over the years that I've seen people do in sessions. It's helped me a lot. It's cool also because you can add like different rows of notes like elements. And this one can be like mix problems. You can do like hats too loud. And color or whatever. whatever. So this is really good to do, like I was saying, especially when sharing a session. Um, again, a lot of you might know this, but for those of you who don't, I recommend doing it. Another thing that's pretty cool, this is actually a free Max for Life plugin, and it's called Notepad. And what it does is it's actually exactly like it says, a basic notepad. So this you can actually type in like full length notes, like try this or check this out. And then you can actually save this and it'll save the text and save it as a preset. So for instance, this one that just came up was samples that I have to remind myself to use are like collections of samples. So I have like MTVR, this is a splice collection that I like came up, came across it. I'm like, oh, this is fire. I have to remind myself to like go through these and try to use these samples. And now when I open a notepad, I have this here. So Super cool little Max for Live device. I'll link it in the description. It's free. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I know this is a short one. Just wanted to show this to you, and I'll see you next time.